ever pondered the fine line between inspiration and imitation? That's the question at the heart of the current controversy surrounding the game PAL world and its striking similarities with Pokemon. In the beginning, there was Pokemon. The beloved franchise has been a staple in the gaming industry since the mid-90s, capturing hearts around the globe. But then, along came PAL World. Developed by Pocket Pair, PAL World is an open-world survival game featuring creatures known as PALs. Sound familiar? That's because it does. Upon its release, PAL World gained explosive popularity, selling a staggering 5 million copies in just three days. Yet, the game's success was not without its shadows. Critics were quick to point out the uncanny similarities between certain Pokemon designs and PALs. This, coupled with the game's more realistic and somewhat exploitative approach to its creatures, fanned the flames of controversy. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Some speculated that the creature designs were not the product of human creativity, but rather the result of generative artificial intelligence. These suspicions were fueled by Pocket Pair's CEO, Takuro Mizobe, who has been quite vocal about his enthusiasm for generative AI in the past. The use of AI in game design is not new, but it's a topic that raises eyebrows, especially when it's potentially used to mimic the work of others. It begs the question, is it fair game, or is it crossing the line? Adding to the controversy is the fact that Pocket Pair's previous game, Craftopia, was criticized for its lack of visual identity and the use of off-the-shelf assets. This has sparked debates about not only the success of PAL World, but also the ethics of its development. Despite the storm of controversy, many commentators believe PAL World brings a breath of fresh air to the monster-taming genre. Its darker, more realistic approach offers a fresh alternative to stagnant Pokemon releases. However, the controversy surrounding PAL World and its alleged plagiarism of Pokemon has had a significant impact on the gaming industry. It's forced us to examine the ethics of game development, particularly in relation to AI and plagiarism. It's also highlighted the need for more transparency from developers regarding their design processes. In conclusion, the Pole World controversy is about more than just a game. It's a conversation starter about the future of the gaming industry, the role of AI, and the line between inspiration and imitation. As the dust settles, one thing is clear. The gaming world is watching, waiting to see how this saga will unfold.